Welcome to Shakespeare 101. Today is your lucky day. Do we have any questions? Sure, go ahead. Why did I get a 68% on my Romeo and Juliet paper? Because to me, you didn't understand the essence of romance. There were no cliffs, no rocks. There was no PB and J relationship. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. I think you're missing something. You need a little mood music. Here's the truth. No. Here we go. This is who I am. Hey, talk about negative energy. Joshua told me that you read his paper, the English 101 paper, before he turned it in. Oh, yeah. It was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Well, that's very interesting. You know, this paper was supposed to be about Shakespeare, specifically about Macbeth. Yes, Shakespeare 101 here. Well, you realize the first paragraph, mm. to be or not to be, that is the question, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings of arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing in them, to die, to sleep no more. Do you recognize that? Hmm. I got that. Actually, it's from Hamlet, not Macbeth. The second paragraph is even more troubling. You recognize that? Oh, yeah. I, I actually wrote part of that myself. Oh, you wrote it? Of course. Very interesting because it's lifted directly from the copy of Macbeth oh, that no, I no, no, signed no, no, in no, no, Oxford. No, no, no. But I don't I think said, that you um, wrote a single defense, word of this. Sit I down. Did. Sit down. Sit down. It establishes illusion as not merely utility, but a central preoccupation of the play, dramatically announced by an opening unique in Shakespeare's plays. You know, Joshua, I would be impressed if you'd actually written that paragraph, but I don't believe that you wrote a single word of his paper You're yourself. Single? And you know why? Hey, it's because you directly this. lifted the paragraph from the book that I assigned, the Oxford edition of Macbeth. In my defense, Professor, I did myself. The rest of the paper is a bunch of garbage. That's Specifically true, from Moby Dick and from First Blood. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never I shall pummel the Pecurian peasant. Okay, you're spitting all in my shit. Part of the world. Pressure. Moby Dick. That, and now that get down, little... get in your chair. Get get away from me. And the third and the fourth paragraph is pulled directly from David Morell's First Blood. Now I don't mean to denigrate First Blood. He actually is a pretty talented author, but you didn't actually write a single word of this paper. Professor, I'm disgusted by professor. you. Sit down, oh. sit. Now, but report you to the administration oh, for plagiarism. Do you know what plagiarism is? Professor Triple Do you know what it is? Who holds five sit PhDs. down. It is very clear to me that all you did was go to the library, go to the shelf that has books with the author with the last letter M, and randomly tool out two books. Maybe you actually read First Blood because you probably liked the movie Rambo, but it's obvious you didn't read Moby Dick. Neither of these books has anything to do with Shakespeare. I don't understand why you thought you would be able to get away with this. Do you think that I'm a fool? Do you think I wouldn't recognize that this is not Macbeth? Professor, why did you do it? Why? I, may Just I tell say me. I don't care read, about your lies. I want the truth. I want the truth! Why did you do it? Okay, well, Professor, may I say, Professor Triple J, who happens to hold five PhDs, one of them in multilecular numerology, called my paper a masterpiece. I finished it. Love is forever. Will you marry me? Beautiful. Sit down. Okay. I know I don't have a ring right now, but I can make a promise for one. I'll work hard every day and. Thank you.